Hey there guys, it's me, old Movie Master. I want to talk to you guys about double dipping. And I'm not talking about chips and salsa, I'm talking about movies. What I mean is that when it comes to movies, I'm the type of person that if I bought a movie on DVD, let's say for example, Her, I found this on a thrift store for like two bucks. And there's a better version of it on Blu-ray or on 4K, whatever format. And it has more features, it has more stuff. It doesn't mean that I'm going to go and get rid of this movie and buy the other one. And I'll tell you why. I've had this argument with a lot of friends and they all disagree with me. And many people here on YouTube might disagree with me as well. Um, I'll use the example of a movie, Halloween. I first had Halloween on VHS, way back when. And I repurchased it on DVD, I think it was in somewhere in 2003. And it was a standard DVD, didn't have much features, released through Anchor Bay. Then they re-released it in the televised version, didn't have any features either. Then I repurchased the 30th anniversary and so many versions I lost count. And each time I was hoping they would have something more. And at times it did, it had an interview here, an interview there, and then eventually I got the collection with all all the movies and I had to get rid of the other ones because I now I can't have both movies like it's weird to have in my collection them on DVD and also on Blu-ray so it got annoying and it wasn't until like 2018 that I said you know what I'm done double dipping I'm done repurchasing the same movie over and over again because since like the late 90s I was buying movies on VHS and then on DVD and then on Blu-ray only because I wanted more stuff. And at the same time, all I was doing was shelling out money for a movie that I already had. So, nowadays, if I bought a movie, let's say, Pumpkinhead, found it um, at a store called CD Trader for three bucks. It's a full frame version. That's the version I found. And I, my thought is maybe I should have waited a little longer and I could have come across a Blu ray version. That's the version I found, that's the version I'm keeping. I don't want to spend money over and over again rebuying the same movie just in hopes of special features. And yes, it sucks that special features aren't available on streaming sites. Because streaming sites, for the most part, are made just for watching movies. And I use streaming sites as well, I use Netflix only. Because there's too many out there. I have used other ones in the past, like Shudder, and Hulu, and at Amazon Prime at one point. But none of them have special features. So that's the thing with physical media. Like, if you're a collector, you're collecting it also for those interviews, those behind-the-scenes featurettes. And more often than not, when I'm buying a movie, if I come across, like if I'm really tempted to buy it, like in the case of Pumpkinhead, I really like Pumpkinhead, I ended up buying that DVD. But more often, I'll just wait. Like, okay, this is a great find, but hopefully I'll come across the Blu-ray that has all the features. Instead of buying it and then getting rid of it, and then buying it again, it's just, it just gets annoying. There's a reason also why I won't upgrade to 4K. Like, I watched recently um, Interstellar. It wasn't that recently, it was actually probably like over a year ago, but uh, time flies. But I saw it in 4K and it looked great, it looked amazing. But I realized I would have to buy a new player, a new TV, uh, and TVs now for 4K have gone down in price, but still. The TV that I have, I bought in 2014, works perfectly fine, and the TV in my room I bought in 2011, it works perfectly fine. I don't have to upgrade to something just because it's newer. Um, and sure, like, I agree that you should have the, uh, the availability to watch movies in the best quality possible. But I also stress the fact that if you don't have the money for it, don't do it. I'm still content to this day watching movies in 480 and watching movies in like on a VHS tape. Like this movie, The Temp. Uh, I got this at a thrift store and it's available on DVD. It's not available on Blu-ray, but just because there's a DVD out there doesn't mean I should get rid of this VHS tape to replace that one. I used to do that, not anymore. So, but at the end of the day, you do what you want to do, you know, this, this is just me, this is just me explaining why I don't double dip. Because there's going to be someone in the comments section saying, oh, this guy's a weirdo, he's telling people that they shouldn't double dip. No, if if you want to do it, go for it, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. All my friends repurchase movies all the time, like, um, I have still an old version of Life Force. 
great movie if you haven't seen it from Toby Hooper on a three multi-pack DVD and it's not uh, it's in widescreen but it's not anamorphic and it doesn't have any features and I would love to get it on blu-ray but guess what it's out of print and I'm not gonna pay like 50 70 bucks for it if it were cheaper and if you know I got it as a gift great but to spend money over and over again you know for something that you already own doesn't make much sense but anyway guys this was just a little rant I wanted to talk about um, let me know in the comment section down below if you do double dip and the reasons why and if you agree or disagree with me it's all great just leave it in the comment section down below anyway guys take care and until next time